Good morning, or even afternoon, I think now, well, it might be about. Um, it's Avalon Caravan here, as you can see. I mean, this isn't snow, uh, this is just thick frost. Um, it's been like this now for quite a few days. Obviously, that's not mine. Um, it poses a lot of problems uh, when you're off grid. A lot of it, because to be honest, everything's frozen down. You know, the outdoor taps are all solid now, so water's beginning to I think we've got one tap on the farm where I am that's still not frozen. That's because the farmer keeps lighting uh, hay under it to keep it defrosted for the animals. Um, the toilet now, before it was actually frozen um, at the water supply to it, now the actual basin's frozen solid, so that's not great. Uh, I'm not even flushing it with the buckets, uh, helping. Um, but yeah, these are things you've got to try and learn. Just been to try and get a bottle of gas. I mean, I haven't run out yet. I thought I'd better get one, but it's forecast this for at least another week. Um, so I thought I'd uh, get another bottle of gas. I'm now on a waiting list because they've sold out because of demand because of this. Um, my log burner that I've ordered doesn't arrive till. Uh, January um, so looking forward to that one even though I wish I'd got it in right now um, you've got to think about things like uh, unless you have to go out and open your door and let the cold air into your little caravan or wherever you are um, don't do it you know stay in where you can and see what you can do um, you know use your oven to uh, heat your room you know choose the times you cook um, you know to coincide with that sorry dog was just tangled up you know there's lots of little things I've now resorted to thermals uh, to try and keep warm the main problem in the caravan is the fact that um, because of LPG they uh, they have lots of holes and vents in the gra in the uh, bot base, you know. So the the problem there, obviously, is cold air. You know, you've got drafts everywhere coming through. You know, I blocked the exit, the bits on the door. I've tried to cover up some of them. You know, I know I shouldn't, but I have had to. To be fair, um, you know, just to try and help a bit. But you know, these things happen. There's not much we can do about it. Anyway, um, that's just a little update of what it's like up here at the moment. Right, it's plumbing freezing. Okay, bye.